Well, if you, uh, in case you just didn't realize this or you totally don't care, today is the 15th of April, which means it's tax day. And if you haven't filed yours and have some questions, don't worry. 3TV has you covered. Tess is in the uh, newsroom with the tax goddess. Good morning, Tess. Good morning, guys. That's right. A lot of people have those last minute questions. They want to get their taxes filed on time. Midnight is the deadline. And if you still have some unanswered questions, 3TV's been helping you out all morning long. Thanks to the help of the tax goddess herself. We have <laughs> Shauna joining us this morning. And let's go ahead and get to some of our questions, Shauna, because I know we've had a lot Absolutely. of them. Not uncommon for folks to wait till midnight tonight, no, right? No, not at all. The lines are going to be around the post office, so go early. And which is the one you mentioned that's definitely open till midnight? That's a good one. 49 East Van Buren. They have late hours, but get there early and bring some snacks and some water. To wait. Yes, in line with. you will be okay. waiting in line. <laughs> All right, before you get there, let's answer your questions. Rosie writes, I've already paid in quite a bit on my federal withholding from my employer, but I also sold a rental property in 2014 and have some capital gains. If I owe more than what I've already paid in through with my job, do I have to pay it today? What happens? Absolutely. So yes, if you owe money, filing an extension is only an extension of the the time to file, not to pay taxes. So if you owe money, pay it today. And if you don't know how much you need to pay, mm -hmm. send in your best estimate. That's what an okay. extension estimate is for. And you won't get in trouble if that estimate is, say, not exactly uh, that close, if it's a little low? If you're a little low, you might have a problem. The IRS does want their money. So okay. there will be penalties and interest if you fail to pay them what they're due. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Carolyn writes, I am the power of attorney for an 88-year-old who gets a $1,700 Social Security check each month plus two annuity checks for about $85. Does she need to file a form? So uh, basically the question is, it's under $2,000 a month. Do we need to file a form for Social Security? In most cases, no, you do not. So okay. especially at this income level, you're probably safe. As usual, I would highly recommend that you speak with a CPA one-on-one, -on -one, make sure. But if this is your only income, you're probably safe. You're okay. All right. And then um, another question we have here. Let's get to another one here. Um, if I file an extension for federal and don't owe um, federal but owe state, should I pay the estimate today? Absolutely. Right? That's similar to that question Similar earlier. to the other question. However, if you don't need to file a federal extension because you don't owe any money, mm -hmm. but you do need to file a state extension, the state has its own form. Okay. So if you go to the Arizona Department of Revenue website, azdor.gov, and look for form 204. 204 for 204 state. 204 for okay. state. That will give you the extension estimate for state. All right. A lot of people also asking before we go quickly, irs.gov. Of. It's form 4868, 4868. That'll give you the extension, federal extension. for the federal extension. Correct. But that can do both too, right? It will both. cover the state of Arizona as long as you don't know Arizona any ah, money. Okay. Yeah. All right. We got through a lot of questions, but I know there's still a lot more out there. So if we didn't get to yours, first of all, thank you, Shauna, for answering thank our you. viewers' questions. You can go to thetaxgoddess.com. Shauna has a lot of questions there answered for you.